It's time to tell you which player has the most to lose and gain in this NBA season. So as far as the tiers are concerned, he has to win. Because straight up, if he loses, M-I-C-K-E-Y-C-A-R-E-E. -E. <laughs> nigga, Mickey career if he doesn't win this season. <laughs> in the following tier, something to prove. Nigga, on some baby shit. On some baby shit. Okay, next one. It'd be nice. It's not the end of the world. And after that, we don't care. <laughs> Let's start off with that last tier. CJ McCollum, we do not care. <laughs> Desmond Bain, we do not care. Yeah, the legacy, yeah, get, get, the, get Green, a lot of the twos. Jared yeah. Allen, it ain't gonna happen anyways type shit. Jordan Poole, get out of here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm Brogdon. Okay, buddy. Yeah, what? Malcolm <laughs> Brogdon or Gail Goodrich. Brogdon. Okay. What? <laughs> Norman Powell. Get out of here. Yeah. Vucevic. Vooch. OG. They're not yeah, who you OG. think you are. I ain't going to lie. Let's, oh let's, my keep, God. let's keep it a beat. Nick Claxton. The fuck? Yeah, Nick Claxton. John Collins. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, John Collins. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Middleton. Do we really care? No, we don't. It'd be yeah, nice. I, it'd be nice. Okay. Yeah, that's it'd the be first nice. One. Yeah, he just started. It'd be nice. It'd be, it'd nice. be nice. All right, let, let's go in order now. Anthony Edwards. I think he's it'd be nice as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, it'd be nice. Good. Yeah. Because it's like, am I going to blame you for losing with the Minnesota Timberwolves not knowing what the hell they are doing outside of, hey, we have Ant? I, I, I can't blame them for that. Anthony Davis. I'm going to go with something to prove, man. I think if AD gets two rings, potentially a finals MVP, because I think people are really warming up to AD being the best player on that team now. That power forward list going to look a little different, man. And I, and I know Laker fans like Damo going to be nasty with that Giannis AD conversation, too. Shit. Yeah, Laker fans like Sage too. No, Y'all love that eye test. Y'all love that eye test so bad. And yeah, we talking about when he's healthy. Shit. Most skilled in Tim. Most skilled in KG even. Most skilled in Dirt. Most skilled in Giannis. Let my man start winning. I definitely think it'll be something to prove as well. Prove that you can play fucking games. Simply put, when you look at the Lakers tenure in terms of the LeBron AD era, you could literally argue had the Lakers been healthy, they at least get two. And it's just laughable that they're never fucking healthy. So. Bam out of bio. I'm not gonna lie, we don't care. Damn. And and what I mean, what I mean by we don't care in Bam's situation is as you see everybody else, it's 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 in the terms of you know third option, second option, or significantly worse player. Bam is in the situation of what really changes if Bam Adebayo is a champion in terms of perception of him. Like nothing changes. Majority of that would go to Jimmy Butler, potentially Tyler Hero, considering that he was injured last year. Nothing changes if Bam wins a, a title, unless Bam is literally not only Finals MVP but just way better than he's ever been but even even that I, I think the conversation only shifts in like who's the best defender in the league but even even if he wins a finals mvp we're gonna be capping to ourselves if we think a finals mvp is gonna catapult him into that Giannis Jokic and B conversation like let's cut the gap bro. it's no catapult on this shit unless you're really crying in the car about is bam better than rudy gobert then i guess <laughs> i i guess he'd stamp it the Wemby conversation as well let me add him to that list mm. Because Wemby's in the conversation. Uh, I know Victor Wembanyama is not on this list, so we're gonna use and it's we're gonna use Vucevic as the fill-in. Okay, <laughs> y'all gonna know the context for the people who are watching this video. The screenshot gonna look nasty as fuck, <laughs> but I think Victor something to prove if he wins a ring. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I what? listen. I gotta hear this. If he wins, go conversation is gonna start. Oh my god! Sage, if he wins, at the very least, it'd be nice, right? Like if he wins a ring, it'd be nice. If he wins a ring in his rookie year, Sage, go conversations will start. Yes, I think Vic. <laughs> I think Vic on the, on this list probably gets his own tier, but we ain't gotta add it. He's we don't care respectfully because. <laughs> What the fuck is asking Victor Wimbanyama to win a championship? So I think Vic is in a situation of it's like, we don't care what the fuck you do. Just don't go out there and average 10 points and have the world like, what the fuck happened? Shout out yeah. to Vucevic. We don't yeah, care. Three respect. is fucking crazy, but you, you weren't there. You know, you know. Uh, speaking of number three, Bradley Beal. Something to prove. Easy. Really? Yeah. I don't think anyone cares. It's the same thing with the Bam argument, bro. Really? I don't, I don't think anything changes, bro. I think he's like, if he got a ring, it'd be like Michael Red getting a ring. You know what I'm saying? Like, cool player of the decade that just got a ring. 
Respectfully. With that is with Bradley Beal, he has had the opportunity as a number one and two. If he doesn't win as a number three with two other players that are essentially a better version of him, whether it's physically or skill wise, or in Devin Booker's case, a bit of both because he's 6'6, it's like, damn. We can settle that. It'd I, be nice. Yeah, we, we can, can we go. It'd be nice. We, we can go. It'd be nice. I don't have high expectations for him to win. I do think he has a lot to lose we're doing predictions so much man i want to shout out the sponsor of this video prize picks man shout out the prize picks for being the sponsor of this video if you want to play daily fantasy sports this nba season i think prize picks is the best way to do it it's the easiest way to do it if you are in a valid state sage take it away with the demo ah uh, let me at him let me at him so man today i got another play for you don't even worry about it see sometimes it's not just about points so we're going to hit that PRA, that points rebound assist. It's a new play. Don't even worry about it. We're going to take that Devin Booker. He's going he's gonna to show out game. We're going to take the Trey Bartholomew Young for Sholey. We're also going to take LaMelo Ball. We're going to take LaMelo. I think LaMelo is actually going to go out there and at least try. They're going to fall off because he's young. But game one, watch out for that boy. Plays lock loaded. It's law. It's going to hit. But I'm not the richest man. So I'm going to get a humble $20 play here. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, you're gross. Um, And thanks to Prize Fix, if you guys use code SNS, they will match up to 100% of your first $100 deposit. So if you put in 100, they'll give you 100. If you put in a 20, like Sage, they will give you 40. So you'd actually have more money to work with than our own TSO Sage. Once again, shout out to Prize Fix for sponsoring this video. Links will be in the description. Code SNS. We appreciate you, man. Yeah, go pick your prize, man. All right, moving on. Brandon Ingram. It'd be nice. Yeah, I, I was going to say we don't care. I'm not going to lie. B.I. is probably still somewhere in that top 10 favorite players. I'm not going to lie. He declined. Like, literally, the conversation would be like, he is definitively the best player from his draft. He's better than Jalen Brown. Like, okay, dude. Whoa! We didn't already kind of think that possibly. Like, all right, bro. Like, yeah, nothing changes. We don't care. We don't care. Now, Dame, I believe Dame, to be honest with you, I don't think he has to win it this year. I don't think he has to win it this year. Because I, I think it's kind of like when James Harden team up with Joel Embiid. I mean, it's, it's year one. But year two and year three, and you can't get... Now we're looking at you like, okay. Yeah, if Dame walks out of Milwaukee, whether it's via retirement or trade with a donut, that's crazy. For the culture, I'm going to say he has to win. Just because I do think it's on a different level of AD in that regard. But obviously, for one season, you're one. We both agree. Nah, that, that's crazy. It's, it, shit, shit can go wrong because it's destined to go wrong year one. But over time, hell nah, Dame. You got to get one, bro. Moving on, um, Darius Garland. It'd be, I, I'd, I'd say it'd be nice because it, be, it would be nice for DG to get a ring. You know, it, it, it would be nice because it would show that you don't need the best backcourt defensively to get it done or that uh, interior defenders are really just on timing. But uh, yeah, maybe it'd be nice. I might go. We don't care respectfully, but yeah, there's a lot I, of these I, uh, move up B.I. to we don't care respectfully as well. I feel like yeah. Um, same thing with Bam. De'Aaron Fox. I'm gonna go with something to prove, dog. I think I think if De'Aaron Fox wins a ring this year, I I'm gonna assume he wins Finals MVP, and I think that would also prove that this kink shit is just not a one year fluke. Number one, and then number two, I think if De'Aaron wins a Finals MVP, he will be in a new tier of point guard. Um, and I think he will be also touted as the you know one of the next gen point guards that's gonna be the face of this league. Cause I feel like people are kind of putting John Morant in a different conversation when it comes to this next gen shit compared to De'Aaron right now. If De'Aaron wins a Finals MVP. Listen, I know there's an age gap there, but we're, we're going to have to have some conversations. I'm not even going here because of the ring. He has something to prove in general. As you said, he has something to prove that this shit wasn't fluke. He has to show me that, hey, man, can, can you make the second round? Can you beat a playoff team? I think that light the damn beam is lit, and I fuck with the Kings. But I want to see some progression now, all right? A lot of people are saying Sabonis is going to take a step back, but Keegan Murray's supposed to take a step forward. D-Mitch 2.0 is supposed to take a step forward. That team is supposed to be better, if not at worst the same, but you are supposed to keep getting better and to keep elevating your team. I think he has something to prove. I don't even have uh, championship expectations for him, but I think I think the Kings should at least be aiming to getting past the first round. 
Yeah. Crawl before you walk for sure, but he has something to prove. DeAndre Ayton. Yeah, we don't care. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. That's mean, that's the thing too. It's, 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 it's not gonna happen. Yeah, it, it's it's unfortunate because it doesn't. It's not gonna happen. Now the argument for he's not winning a fucking championship, but dog, you gotta show me that you a good center in this league. He does have something to prove, but just in the conversation of this, like nah. Yeah. Next up, Dejounte Murray. I think it'd be nice. I, I think it'd be we don't care respectfully. That us. Yeah. You know what? We don't care respectfully. We care about Trey Young, just not Dejounte Murray type shit. I just want to see him take basketball seriously because he has the tools to be really, really, really good. So DeMar DeRozan. I might cheat because even though we we put DA, we don't care because he, we don't expect him to win. I ain't going to lie. DeMar, man. If you're part of that older era, dog, I want you to get a ring. Like Chris Paul is one of them. I think DeMar DeRozan is one of them, dog. Like it would be nice at the very least. It'd be nice to see DeMar DeRozan get a championship. Is it going to happen on the Bulls? Fuck no. Yeah, it'd be nice. I'm not going to act like DeMar DeRozan is supposed to also be playing at prime DeMar DeRozan basketball, even without ring expectations. I do want to see him still play well so he can show that, hey, next year or midseason, you trade me to a championship contender and I will ball out. D-Book. That might be has to win. That ass? I'm thinking something to prove. You got KD on your team. <laughs> you got KD on your team, and you were in the finals without him on your team. So if you just don't win, are you just going to, like, never win as long as Jokic is here? I think he has to win, but I can hear something to prove for sure. I think there's certain players in the league, like, they don't have to win a ring, but based off of their production, like, people are trying to put them in certain conversations that, based off of the eye test and their stats, like, we're trying to put them in. I think D-Book and Jason Tatum are, are, are one of those. Like, we're really mm. trying to announce them as the next great shooting guard small forward in the league but it's like they don't got they don't got the accolades to back it up i do think if devin booker wins a ring with kd kind of like with darren fox like yo this dude is gonna be stamped as the face of the right. next gen all right this is gonna be the dude that's gonna be battling for championships and actually having you know legacy conversations for this next generation he's not just gonna be a, a, a michael red or gilbert arenas he's gonna be in that d wade james harden Allen iverson conversation if he does win a ring do i think he has to i think with the stakes of, of kevin Durant and bradley bill yes I, I I am leaning towards that. Uh, I am leaning towards that now. Because, yeah, it, it is championship or a bust for that team, which is unfortunate because I, I hate moves like that. And I, that's why I didn't like the James yeah. Harden move as well for the Nets. I felt like ultimately not, not the, the Nets shit kind of proved me wrong, to be honest with you. But I think for the Suns, like they made moves that were a net positive, objectively speaking, but they raised their expectations not at an equal ratio, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So um next up Sabonis, we don't care respectfully. Yeah, we don't care respectfully. Yeah. It's just you'd be the two, even if you underperform, people would be like, damn, Sabonis didn't play that well, but nothing really changes in terms of his stock. And respect them, because I really love this player. It'd be like Pau Gasol, dog. Like he, he was an integral part of those championships, but in terms of like all time power forward conversations, those two rings didn't really move him to be it, it moved him. But like moved them, moved them to the point where we're talking about Dirk and KG and all these guys. Nah, nah, not at all. All right, next yeah. up, Donovan Mitchell. I'm honestly interested. Ah. I'm honestly interested in, in this one, man. Cause I'm ah. I'm conflicted. I don't I don't know. I don't know, man. So D Mitch used to be my guy that I would argue all day over Devin Booker because of playoff elevation. Since those days, I'm not gonna lie, D Mitch went from clear playoff elevator to he elevates sometimes. <laughs> you feel me? So I think he does have something to prove, and I probably I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna keep cheating for the rest of this video. Cause do I think Cleveland should must win win a ring? No, but Donovan Mitchell got to show me that he's still in that category, he's still in that tier. Cause it weren't even a season ago we you could legitimately argue he is better than Devin Booker. Now it's kind of crazy. <laughs> it, it's kind of crazy. You're lo it, it's literally loyal to be way past. So. I'm going to say something to prove. I think he has to show me personally that he can be a legitimate contender on a team that essentially has an all-star caliber guard next to him, an elite, I, well, I won't say elite center, sorry, but a very, very, very good center and an up-and-coming superstar in Evan Mobley, in my personal opinion. That's a, that's a good enough team where you should be making some noise versus what he's done so far. Yeah, I think um, if he gets a ring, it'd be a crazy overachievement, but he does have something to prove. Um, again, I feel like those conversations with D-Book and uh, Donovan Mitchell, the, the gap has widened after this last season. And even in the conversations that he was in, it's kind of like he's teetering on the back end. 
I right. think he definitely has enough talent on his squad, and he's definitely talented enough himself to reinsert himself with the likes of a Devin Booker. Honestly, with the likes of a Dame, with the likes of a Jason Tatum. And I know that sounds crazy, y'all, but yeah, d Mitch as a talent, I'm not saying he's far from Dame, far from Tatum, far from Paul George. No, not even close. He just has to get it done. Um, Draymond Green. <laughs> this is so weird. Because you could argue something to prove, and you could argue we don't care. <laughs> the argument for something to prove is... Dog, can you just be competent on offense? Like, can can you get me six points on not 30? And then the other half is, no, Sage, he cannot get you six points on 30. A Draymond supporter his entire career, because I think people criminally underrated Draymond when he was actually on timing. But, dog, I ain't gonna lie, that, that regression is getting scary. Like, you're, you, he's, he's slowly becoming, like, one of the best minds I've ever seen in basketball, but it's just a mind, and he physically cannot <laughs> score the ball. It, it, it's, 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 it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. I hate slandering Draymond Green because I, I fucking look, like, I think the guy's brilliant. I think I think the new media shit, while sometimes, yeah, he could have been hypocritical every now and then, I, I love hearing Draymond talk about basketball. It's just, dog, he cannot score the rock, and they know he can't. And they don't care about him out there outside of guiding other players to do shit for him, bro. So, you know, my personal opinion is something to prove. But I could 100% hear we don't care and I wouldn't bat an eye. Because you could argue that I'm grasping onto something that shouldn't be there. Then he's cooked. I think you are. And I'm going to be honest, I think it's definitively something to prove for me. Because of how people are turning on the narrative around Draymond Green's career. Obviously, people value Draymond Green on those championships. But the side that says... Yo, Draymond Green is actually the reason why the Warriors haven't won more championships. It's getting louder and louder by the day. People still blame him for 2016. I understand it's not just him, but with the suspension, people still blame Draymond Green for not keeping his cool. People still blame Draymond Green for running KD out of town. And especially with the Jordan Poole shit, people still blame Draymond Green for ruining this past season, where even throughout all that turmoil, listen, they still went to six against the Lakers where they still would have made the Western Conference Finals, and honestly, based off of how they played the Nuggets the season prior, they might have made the Finals. And back then, and, and at that point, if they're facing the Heat in the Finals, shit, they might have a fucking ring if Draymond Green just didn't put... There's literally an alternate timeline where the Warriors are back-to-back -back champions if Draymond Green did not uh, punch Jordan Poole. There's an alternate timeline where they win 2016, Without Jordan Poole. There's an alternate timeline where they straight up win like damn near six championships in a row. I'm about to say, you can make an argument Curry's supposed to be a seven-time champion, y'all. Like, legit. Legit. If the Warriors don't win, that crowd is going to get louder and louder by the day. This argument that Draymond Green has actually been more detrimental to this team than more of a help is going to get louder. But if they win, five-ring Draymond is going to sound hard as fuck. Or... Yeah, five ring. Yeah, five ring. Draymond's gonna sound hard as fuck, bro. Fuck you, mean I? I, I wasn't valuable to five rings. Yeah, five fuck rings? out of here. Not one. Yeah, five. Come on, Some of these motherfuckers can't get one. You, I got you five. Fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Joel Embiid has to win. <laughs> has has to win. No diff. It, I think he has only... to win, but like with his squad, they're not gonna win. This is unfair for Joel. That James Harden don't even like being there. I don't think Tyrese Maxey at this point in his career is ready to be like, all right, bro, Maxey is our second best option. Let's win a championship. And he has a bunch of players on the team that are old on expiring deals. It's not a perfect situation to get a championship in Philly at all. No disrespect to Daryl Morey because I think he's a great mind, but it it's just not the right roster. However, y'all are too loud. And y'all, y'all are too loud. Y'all are putting him in conversations with literally the best in the world: Nikola Jokic, Kevin Durant, Luka Doncic, Stephen Curry, LeBron James, Giannis Antetokounmpo. You are putting him at number one conversations. And while most of that number one shit has died down, I'm not obtuse. Most people have him around the five to six ish range. There are still people that I know by February when Embiid's averaging like what 33 points on insane splits. Actually, bro, he's better than all these guys. He's better than Anthony Davis. I keep forgetting about him. Anthony Davis, y'all going to do that. 
And when that happens, we're going to say, okay, let's see what he's doing offs. Why the 30 turn to 20? What's going on? So, yeah, I it's unfortunate. He has to ball for me. I, I can hear something to prove. I think I think what you said is the definition of something to prove. Like, everything that you said sounds like he got something to prove. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I feel like it's kind of the same with Donovan Mitchell. Or, like, literally last season, pre-playoffs, the conversation was Embiid, Giannis, and Jokic. Playoffs come around, it's Jokic, Giannis, and Embiid. If Embiid wins a ring with this squad, having the the least amount of talent, the most drama out of that three, I think he reinserts himself back into that three-man conversation. So, I, I, I will put something to prove. Evan Mobley... We don't care, dog. I ain't, I ain't. Yeah, we don't care. I ain't gonna lie. He's too young for me to literally give him any expectation, especially when his sophomore year people view very critically. At this point, we just want to see him have a good season. Um, Giannis, he has to win. If Dame got to win, Giannis got to win, bro. Giannis is also in conversations of rivaling Nikola Jokic as the best player in the world. When are we going to say the best player in the world with a guy like Damian Lillard on his team and a third option being Chris Middleton doesn't have to win a finals? I mean, open book close, you're just being a little obtuse. This is not the end of his career. Giannis is not 35. Giannis is in, in his prime, comfortably in his prime, with extra years to go forth. Giannis needs to start winning some damn championships and put him himself distance from a lot of these other great but other power forwards. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I just feel like, and we can name other seasons as well, but to say a player has to win a championship, I'm thinking like when K, uh, when KD went to the Warriors, that team is too stacked for you not to win. You know what I'm saying? When LeBron went to the Heat, too stacked not to win. KG Celtics, too stacked not to win. I do think there's enough parity in the league where like if these teams don't win, it's understandable. There's clearly a, a team matched up for you. And if you lose in a seven game series, it's like, okay, you just lost to a better team or like injuries didn't go your way, certain uh, plays didn't go your way. It didn't mean that you failed that season. So I do want to say that as I guess as just a preface for the rest of the video. Because I feel like Dame's legacy, even if he doesn't win, is like, it's not going to change. Same thing with D-Book. He has more time. Giannis, I think he's more stamped than he is not. Um, But yeah, I, I do think... The Bucks and Giannis do have championship or bust expectations, even with everything that I said. There's there's a certain level where like the talent is just you, you got too much talent on your squad to say y'all aren't gunning for a championship and anything less than a finals is like a failure for the season. Unless you're Giannis, because he had that whole fucking spiel about is it a failure if I don't win a championship last season? Which I still call bullshit. But okay. Steps to success. I'll say this. Um nah, the the preface, I mean, hey, they they hate when I do it, so I'm glad you did. Really, he has to win is just toxic code word for chip or bust. It, that's really all it is. He has to win, obviously. it's it, These guys don't have to. If Devin Booker doesn't win a championship this year, I'm not going to think he sucks. You know what I'm saying? I will, I will be like, damn, Dane. That's tough, but I'm not like – and with Giannis, same thing. Because Giannis, I think him and Jokic will not dwarf each other. I think they'll go back and forth. So – um no, obviously they don't have to win. It's really chip or bust, but I'm not changing to your name. Fuck it. James Harden. Definition as well as something to prove. But, like, tearing in on he has to win. Because, <laughs> like, he's still talented enough to the point where, like, it's not like Chris Paul where he's not washed or washed enough to the point where, okay, I mean, you can't expect too much. But James Harden still put up, like, 20 and 10 last season, dog. James Harden is still at the level of, like, if he were to make his Houston pitch and be like, yo, I'm going to go back to doing that shit. The conversation isn't, fuck, no, you're not, James. Shut up. The conversation is, are you? Because <laughs> he's, he's still like kind of, don't sleep on James Harden as a talent. Now, now, there's not a lot of people on this list fucking with James Harden right now in terms of playing basketball today. It's just, yo, get your head in the game, man. Like, lock in, twin. Lock in, bro. But apparently some shit happened, uh, some lying shit. So it is what it is. If he he could be he could be righteous and all of that, but hey man, just I want to see James Harden win, man. That's it. John Morant, something to prove. Something to prove. And, and, and this one has nothing to do with rings. Can you just stay on the court? <laughs> like, like no cap, no cap, bro. This one ain't got nothing to do with rings. I am a hundred percent cheating. I just want to see Ja play a season, no antics, ball up, and actually beat Golden State would be nice because he he be hooping like a motherfucker against Golden State, and then he just disappears, like literally just can't play. It's, it's tough. Ja, ja turned into one of the top ten shooters of all time against Curry. I don't know why he just does, but I also think Ja is. Like the the NBA is trying really hard to market Ja. There's certain there's certain players in the league where I can see like honestly the resume isn't even matching up to the marketing that they do. I'm gonna keep it a bean. As much of a fan, 
Jason Tatum is one of them. Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum is one of them. Clearly one of them. Um, Zion, they're still trying, dog. They're still trying with Zion, dog. And Ja, they're still they they've been doing good with Ja, but you gotta start trying, dog. Tight shit, bro. So yeah, you I think I think and even with Nike, like Ja needs to reinsert himself as one of the the future faces of the league. Cause this last season was tough. This last season was tough on him. Uh Jalen Brunson. It'd be nice. Yeah, it'd be nice or we don't care. It's it, it'd be cool, but it, it's it'd be cool. It'd do something for him. It it make us think differently on basketball in the sense of damn parody is alive. The Knicks one. Jamal Murray. Something to prove. Cause I feel like after the finals last season, we, and we were a part of it. We were trying to insert, insert him in conversations that seemed kind of wild going into the playoffs. I think he he needs to prove that yo, I do actually belong in those conversations, and that one, the bubble wasn't a fluke, and two, I do shit like it. Last season even wasn't a fluke. So I feel like this this one is where like again, if you look at the title, you'd be like something to prove. He proved himself twice. Like literally, we just didn't know. But like, what we mean by something to prove in the sense of stamp that st- stand on business, Jamal. Stand on business. Like you are that guy that if we were to do your redraft, we're taking you one no diff. Shout out to the uh, Bleacher Report because we got fucking cooked. <laughs> <laughs> we got cooked when we both said, yeah, we're drafting Jamal Murray first, and that throws a lot of people off. That might throw you off. But um, prove it. Prove it again. There's a couple players on this list that I want to speed run as well. Pascal Siakam, yeah, yeah, we speed. don't care. Laurie Markkinen, yeah. we don't care. Rudy don't Gobert, care. we don't, don't care. care. LaMelo, it'd be nice. It'd be nice, right? It'd be nice. Something to prove yeah. around it, there. It'd be nice, but it ain't going to happen. Porzingis, we don't care respectfully for me, but if you want to say we don't <laughs> care, it's cool. We don't care. <laughs> we don't care. Okay. Um, Too much talent on that Paolo, team. Paolo. It'd be nice. It would be nice. Really? It would be nice. Or even something to prove, bro. Because that's sort of God, like, motherfuckers really forgot about, like, I think Paolo is one of the most, like, un, like unhyped number one picks, dog. Same thing with um, Kate Cunningham, bro. Like, God damn. Paolo is disgustingly underrated at this point in time. I don't know what happened. I, I, I do know what happened. Victor happened. But it's like factory reset. Like, people didn't say, man, the NBA is in good hands. We got Vic and Paolo and Kate on the way. No, it's just all about Vic. So, nah. I hear you on rank, ranking it higher. I probably used to say we don't care, but you're right in the sense of overall media attention. Drew Holiday. We don't oh, care. Awesome. Respectfully. Drew's a nice guy. I kind of want to say something to prove. That ass? Hey, elaborate, elaborate. Offensively in the playoffs, he ain't been it in Milwaukee. The trade package that got placed for Drew Holiday was a package like, yeah, bro, this guy will get us a chip. We just needed this motherfucker. He was being conversations. Drew Holiday has been consistently in elite point guard conversations, granted on the lower end, but for quite some time now. But he's always had the least expectations of those elite point guards. So now if you make the trades that you've made for him, you've essentially swapped him to the other team in green, and he is underperforming in the offs? That's alarming on him. And I know he's not essentially never going to be in that top 50 conversation, so it's not the sexiest name to put in something to prove. But I think he definitely has something to prove in the sense of, hey, man, we were we were really gassing the shit out of Drew Holiday for like 10 years now, and it's amounted to one. It's amounted to one in, in being a tertiary star. So, Nah, I, I agree, especially because I've seen the GM survey that they had. And um, that top 100, yo, he got to he got to prove you that good. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and, and I know it sounds fucked up because they're gonna they're gonna clip me for saying, yo, he got one though. Say no, I'm saying as a third option, we've been talking about this dude like he's crazy. Top 20, 25, 30, 35 ish. As a third option, he only got one. That's kind of like when you really think about it. Imagine if Dame was on the Bucks his whole time and the Bucks only had one chip. Like, like that. That's basically what we're saying, bro. Hey, come on, Drew. Clay, we don't care respectfully. Yeah, we don't care respectfully. Mikael, accomplished. we don't care because it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, we don't care because it ain't going to happen, but I won't put respectful because that's big. <laughs> that's big cow. That's big cow. Triple J, I'm going to be honest. He might be in something to prove just off of the discourse around him this um past FIBA. <laughs> Motherfuckers were cooking him for not being able to rebound, dog. <laughs> God damn. Look, I'm going to take a step further. Triple J obviously don't have to win 
and is not chipper buzz but i think he dwarfs something to prove so badly in the sense of yo can you just show these niggas that you won't foul out that you genuinely were the right defensive player of the year and that you can be the co-star it's weird i think he is like in that top tier but obviously he doesn't have to win so, but yeah put him in something proof. all right i've been avoiding it Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. Y'all gotta win. Y'all gotta win, dog. Yeah. Too, too stacked of a team. Too many resources allocated to y'all. Jalen Brown. Yeah, no, we gotta win, bro. It's championship or bust by all definitions of the word. Y'all gotta win. I don't I don't wanna hear the excuses. It's, it's year two with Joe. It's not year one. Y'all have been there before. Y'all aren't y'all aren't young anymore. Y'all are turning on the other side of 25 now. Um do I think their legacy changes without it? Not this year specifically. I think, again, it's kind of like with the Dame situation. In two to three years, if we walk out of this era with no fucking ring, I'm literally going to switch teams. Deadass. Lock it right now. Lock it, lock it right now. If we don't win a ring in the next three years, I'm switching teams. And I almost did it in 2021, too. I ain't going to lie. I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Again. Do not let B Soul switch teams, y'all. If y'all let that happen, I will never respect any of your comments again. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, cause that that that's a new level of nasty. All right, y'all y'all know y'all kill me if I did some shit like that. If I just said, you know what, I don't even fuck with the Lakers after LeBron retired. Y'all would kill me. Don't you dare let him run from the grind. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't you let this guy do it, cause he's likable. Don't know. No, you die on that horse. Being said, I think I agree with you. If I have to ch disagree somewhat, it'd be Jalen Brown to something to prove because the whole he can't go left shit, the whole <laughs> bi, the whole bi dwarfs you shit. It, he just like he just has something to prove that he is truly a guy that should not have been traded. Jason Tatum, minimal discussion whatsoever. This is a guy that we've marketed to be in top five conversations, despite having the minimal resume of the people in the top five conversation. This is a guy that for years we've been saying, hey, he's gonna one day dominate the league and now those years have went by and we're talking about Nikola Jokic, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Luka Doncic, LeBron still, Anthony Davis, Stephen Curry still, Damian Lillard still, Devin Booker, and Tatum hasn't gotten any hardware at this point in time. Not gonna act like blood's 30, but damn it. You gotta get something because you're not gonna get MVPs. That's the thing. You're not gonna get MVPs, dog. MVP, you're not an MVP guy, and that's fine. I don't think Kobe the best wasn't. players have to be MVP guys. But, dog, you, you said Kobe wasn't. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't. <laughs> but, no, he wasn't. But, dog, you gotta you gotta start winning, man. You do. And I, I don't think it's a secret. I don't think that's me being too hard on them either. You gotta start winning, man. Yeah, I'm gonna move Jalen Brown down off of your suggestion. I want that on the record. But, yeah. Jimmy Butler. I don't think Jimmy got anything to prove, dog. I ain't gonna lie. No guy anything to prove. We, he doesn't have anything to prove, but we haven't addressed this angle of the list for a long time. But Jimmy does have a lot to gain with a ring. So it does make me, I think I'm a hard lock. It'd be nice because Jimmy gains a lot with a ring. I know people don't agree with that. Shout out my guy, Omar. I know he doesn't agree with that. But I think Jimmy with a ring really is going to set revisionist history to the moon. And maybe that's immature for me to bring up because I won't be a part of revisionist history. But if Jimmy Butler this whole time, Super Saiyan Jimmy, playoff Jimmy, rival LeBron James Jimmy, all that shit, niggas are going to look back and be like, yeah. That Bam game in game two kind of ruined the like they, like you said that I could see it happening from a mile away if Jimmy Butler actually goes on to actually win the shit after being in the ECF for four straight years that'd do a lot for him that would do a ton for Jimmy Butler he'd be in like T Mac conversations and most of you would say he's better at that point based on playoff stats yeah I think there's a certain tier of players specifically in that forward position where like motherfuckers got accolades. But a ring and a finals MVP separates you from the crowd. Case in point, Paul Pierce. Like, we can have all these conversations, but Paul Pierce got that finals MVP on, on Tracy McGrady, on Vince Carter, on all these dudes. You can talk about peak all y'all want, but where where is that ring and where is that finals MVP? Jimmy Butler having three finals appearances on his name and a ring and a finals MVP with the talent conversations, I honestly think the talent conversations aren't going to lean towards Jimmy. But in terms of all time, who's, who's greater all time, Jimmy or Dame? Type shit. It's, it's not always about being in that top 10, Chad. That 20 through 30 would be crazy if Jimmy Butler wins a ring. Julius Randle, we do not care. 
Yeah, we don't care. <laughs> Cat, we don't care. We don't care because it's not going to happen, but you do have something to prove. Gary. Yeah, retweet. Retweet minimal discussion. You have everything to, oh, you have everything the to prove. Fuck? <laughs> like, he's another one where you could put him and he has to win. Obviously, you won't, but nigga. Cat was crazy coming into the league. He just never took that next leap and really never had that dog in him. And also defensively, he wasn't like that. But yeah, no, I I remember those 2016 podcasts that I, that I used to do, dog. Yeah, right? Hey, if, 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 listen, if you were to have, if you were to build around a player for the next 10 years, Cat or Giannis? Cat or AD? Man, Kawhi, you have to win, buddy. Yeah, you have to win. I'm not doing it with y'all. Yes, he's quiet. Show me you can be healthy. And then when you're healthy, do it again. Simple as that. Do, do it. Do it again. Liter literally, be healthy and do it again. KD, you gotta win. Gotta win. Gotta win. If D book gotta win, you definitely gotta win, buddy. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you, yeah, D book has to win. There's no way you don't. Also, we we've talked about in future videos or past videos. I don't know the upload schedule. That essentially, yo, we we call bullshit. You know, motherfuckers gonna say they don't care about the ring, but they do. For the love of God, you can crack top ten potentially with this ring. Go ahead, get it. Kyrie Irving. It'd be nice. Yeah, that Mavs roster is bad, y'all. <laughs> I want to say something to prove for off-court antics, for injury, just like how I have many other players. And yes, he has a player we'll talk about later. But, yo, that Mavs roster is not good. <laughs> I, ca I can't. I literally can't act like, yo, but they got Kyrie. I can't do it. The rest of the roster, I'm not a fan. Also, with the way y'all talk about Kyrie... His legacy's already cemented, dog. That 2016 ring is being talked about till this day, dog. That one shot, like, goddamn, bro. LeBron James. Definition of it be nice. <laughs> the textbook, textbook definite. LeBron loses. Oh, no. Yeah. Especially because we've gotten to the point where, like, okay, he actually can't make the finals. Because <laughs> if this was 20, remember that eight year, yo, looking back, dog. Oh my God, bro! This Eight nigga straight LeBron years to the finals. Like that's so what I'm crazy, saying, dog. bro. My argument for LeBron becoming the goat has genuinely been, all right. Some gotta give. Like, like at some point we're just being assholes, bro. This nigga wins two rings way out of his prime. What? <laughs> Leading score of all time. Gonna keep moving up the assist shit, rebound shit, all that extra shit, and he's still winning. And he's fucking forty, literally. Get out of here, bro. Like at that point, I don't care about perfection. That nigga kept winning and he didn't stop winning. That is the greatest player I've ever fucking seen, bro. Uh speaking of the greatest player of all time, Luca, I would I, same shit. thing with Kyrie. I want to have certain conversations, but I just came with that fucking roster, dog. I can't. I yeah, can't, I'm, I'm going to we don't care respectfully. Yeah. And, and that I know that you're y'all are gonna gaslight it as we are uh not holding Luca accountable. Bro, I'm not gonna play stupid to hate on people. I think for the purposes of, of this conversation, I would like to move him up to it'd be nice. I ain't gonna lie. Like, in terms of the, the players, and we don't get respectfully, Luca's too good to be in that tier. And if he did get Fair a enough. ring, it would be nice. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, if, uh, yeah, I'm about to say, Luca gets a ring on a bad roster. He he instantly catapults himself to best in the world because there's no debate about that at that point. Um, Jokic. Hot take, has to win. Damn, hot take. It'd be nice. <laughs> Uh, to make mine quick, because I'm the chatter of the two, uh, uh, has to win because, not going to lie, they're saying Giannis is rivaling you, and when you look at the numbers, it shouldn't be the conversation. You're not the poster boy of the NBA. <laughs> like, you're not even on the fucking opening night banner, and you play on opening night against another person that's on the banner of opening night. A lot of people think you're fucking fluke. A lot of people are still on the, granted, stupid arguments, but that the, uh, you're, you're like a fat, slow guy that just is all nerdy and eyeglasses and trap cards. And they don't believe in your game. They don't believe in you. And um, I ain't gonna lie. I believe that you're probably like the best offensive big I've seen ever. <laughs> so go ahead and get the hardware to stamp the shit. I think he has to win. Yeah, I think he's too good and his roster's too good for it not to be he has to win. But I'm just saying, I'm not really, specifically this year, if they don't win, I'm not looking at Jokic any differently because of the fact that he's done a lot these last three years. He's done a lot. So like, if, if, if he don't get it done for the next four years, maybe that's a conversation. But this year, eh, I don't really care. But I, I agree, though. I agree. Paul George, I think it's kind of like the Tatum Jalen Brown conundrum. Yeah. So exact same spot as JB. Yeah. yeah. RJ Barrett, we don't care. We don't care. We don't care. Sorry. Russell Westbrook. Was that Russ? It'd be nice. 
It'd be, It'd be nice. nice. It'd be nice. I ain't gonna lie. Because granted, it wouldn't have been in his prime, but saying Russell Westbrook is an NBA champion. It'd be the GP it ring. Nice. It'd be the Gary Payton ring. Yeah. You know? It sounds nice. Shea, I don't I don't think he has anything to prove this season. So I, I'm going to say it'd be nice. I'm going to say it'd be nice, man. Yeah, I, yeah, it'd be nice. It'd be nice. I'm not going to act like he, I don't care. Because I think that OKC team is talented. But Curry right there with Braun. Definition of it'd be nice. Textbook, he has nothing left to prove. Literally nothing left to prove. Curry can, Curry can just, like, teams can just not do shit. And granted, not do shit on some level. They're like the 15th seed. That's the problem. But Trey Young, I think he has something to prove. Kind of like yeah. with uh, D. Mitch. Um, I don't expect him to make an ECF, to be honest with you. But I just feel like a lot of y'all need to put some, some respect on Trey's name, bro. Yeah, Trey Young's arguably most disrespected superstar in the game today. Tyrese, it'd be nice. We don't care. It'd be nice. Type shit. Yeah, you know? I, it'd be nice. It, it, teetering, we don't care. Not because of talent. but Tyrese Maxey, we don't care. We don't care. That conversation yeah. with the Sixers ring. Has everything to do with him beating James Harden. No one else, to be honest with you. Uh, Zach Levine. We don't. I think we just, yeah, we just don't care. Yeah. Know, maybe. Nah. Big Z. <sighs> he got something to prove this whole fucking season, dog. It's not, not nothing to do with a ring, dog. Yeah, nothing to do with a ring. He'd be top tier, but because everybody in top tier does have to do with a ring, maybe the highest something to prove. Dear Lord, can you just stay in shape? Fuck, fuck play. Stay in shape. <laughs> All right. No more off the court antics. And then obviously we want you to fucking play basketball. So I'm tired of people lying. Like when you're on the court, you ain't one of them. I'm tired of it. It's boring. It's it's corny. Zion is great. He's one of the most productive scorers in the game of basketball. If there's one debate I've ever felt like I've lost with a chat or anything like that, and I still think I want to debate, but it's definitely one time a, a dude came up to me. I think it was fucking Eli. A dude came up to me. He was like, yo, Zion's most productive scorer in uh, whatever season he was at in 27. I was like, nah, it's KD. He was like, I mean, the goal not to put the ball in the fucking hoop. And I was like, huh? If one thing Zion gonna do, he's gonna put the ball in the fucking hoop. So, like, come on, bro. Yeah, if you want to get depressed and, like, nostalgic at the same time, watch some 2019 Duke Zion highlights, bro. It, it'll it legitimately remind y'all why people were so hyped and why I'm even sitting up here saying Zion still might have had more hype than Victor. And that's yep. saying a lot. So it's not crazy. I heard I don't watch college. I knew all the picks in the draft because Zion was in the draft. And everybody was like, well, I mean, there's Zion, but there's also this guy. That's how much hype they had. That's how much hype Zion had. Um, with that being said, this is our list for this upcoming season. We're definitely excited for this upcoming season, man. I don't give a fuck what anyone got to say. This season about to be lit. With that being said, follow us on Twitch, man. Right? Twitch, Emily. Twitch at TSO underscore Sage. TSO underscore Sage. Uh, shout out to Prize Picks again for sponsoring this video, and we'll catch you on the next one, man. Peace out. Peace. All these players are great. Bye.